today I'm playing Bioshock Infinite. I, uh, I completed the game uh, a few weeks ago now. Uh, so, in between playing a bit of uh, Bioshock 1, I've started exploring the uh, DLC. So, uh, this is the uh, Clash in the Clouds uh, DLC, which is uh, an arena arena shooter thing. Uh, it's not, not story based like the main game. You basically you have a number of battle arenas and then there are, there are I think 15 rounds of contact, 15 rounds of combat on each one. Um, you're, you're in this uh, Colombian Archaeological Society as, as a setting. You can see there's uh, shops and stuff. You can buy upgrades. Uh, I've only got $500 at the minute, so can't buy any of that. Electricity! Oh, that's all this one's got. Uh, so I could buy some more gun upgrades. So obviously, you can make the game easier for yourself as you go along by. Um, by buying these upgrades so you can keep them across playthroughs. Uh, I'll just uh, carry on around the archaeological society. You know, the, the beautiful environments are one of the uh, features of Barshock, really. And this is, this is Colombia before it um, all gets blown up in the game. Uh, spoilers. So, that's enough looking around. Let's get in and uh, sample the combat. Now, I bought this because. Uh, let's just check my Oops, zero leaderboard. Uh, I'm currently ranked number one of everybody. So, not really quite sure. None of my friends have the game. Yeah, I got this because I got the uh, I got the uh, uh, what should we call it edition when it was on sale for like like eight quid. It had all the DLC in it, so I guess uh, if you enjoyed the combat in Bioshock rather than the story, this is probably going to be your DLC of choice. Right, so each battle. Aside from having uh, a number of enemies, I've got five enemies remaining here. So it's at the top here. It has a blue ribbon challenge, which you complete for extra extra bonus money, um, which obviously makes it more difficult. So this one has skyline strikes. So I need a skyline. Is what I need. Still need the skyline. Still need the skyline. There we go. So we want skyline strikes only. Oh no, missed him. Missed him. There we go, that's one. It's a bit jerky with the recording. I have to watch out because sometimes they follow you on this. Uh, they follow you around the skyline. This guy. There we go. Oh, the next one. Oh, I missed him. 
I didn't get the achievement in game for a uh, number of kills with Skyline Strikes, in case you're wondering. So I'm not the best at it, even when I'm not recording. Ooh, there's one behind me now, look. Got him. The last one is behind me now. There we go. There we go. Blue Ribbon Challenge completed. Uh, you can grab ammo and stuff at this point. Here are a few seconds. No, can't find any of the. Uh... Well, there you go. Right, so. Next challenge is defeat the wave while only taking shield damage. Okay, so you go to this uh, room between between the uh, the combats, right? So I've got a machine gun. Let's have a carbine. And uh, you can get upgrades. You can buy ammo. Oh, I've got lots of ammo. Yes. Ammo increase. Pistol reserve. It's all the same stuff you had in the game. And these but these do last. These do uh ooh, machine gun clip size. I could probably use that. Might do it now though. Plenty of time. You got empty pockets. Let's keep on. Let's have a look. Possession for less, yes, yeah, so you can upgrade the vigors as well. I've not uh done so many upgrades. That. I have been trying to complete some of the challenges. One of the challenges, like in the main game, um, is do all the Vigor combos, but either I've not been doing them right or, or I've, uh, I've uh, just not got the wrong list of combos. So I think I've only got like, half of them so far. Anyway, right, we'll go to the next wave. But only take shield damage. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, I'll do is start with some skyline strike. Ah, I took some health damage already. I wasn't quick enough with the gun. Shield damage is one of the ones I have managed to do in the past, but not this time. Where is he? There we go. Got a headshot. Missed the challenge. Two dollars for a double kill. So this is the game. We'll go back. We'll see what the next uh, the next blue room challenge is. Skyhood Saxon shotgun. Right. So let's find the shotgun. Twenty bullets, maybe I should get more bullets. Ammo increase the shotgun. Machine gun. Can okay, one clip size? No, I've obviously got all the obviously I've got all the Power up to the shotgun. Now I 
think with this one, I can do the Skyland strikes and then shoot people with a shotgun. Blow his head off. One enemy remaining. Watch me out. Blue ribbon challenge completed. There you go. So your score does, does go up. There we go, we've got some looting. Your score does go up uh, proportional to the round, like a multiplier. Uh, machine guns or the cramp gun. Okay, I can do that. I dropped a machine gun earlier. Let's, uh, let's get more ammo. I did see that one. How can I buy some ammo? My next question? No. That's the bigger one. But, you know, I can pick some up. Machine gun only. So when you mess it your up like that, for atonement is at hand, you get your final skill like let this. It pass you idly by. Now you can either forfeit my ranking and just carry on, which I'm not that bothered to do, or you can restart from the beginning with your current sets of weapons. You can return to the archaeological society. Um, I'm just going to use this this moment of failure as an excellent opportunity to wrap up the video and uh, return to the Archaeological Society, but I think you've uh, this has given you a flavour of the DLC. If you've not bought uh, the Bioshock Infinite DLC, then, well, this, this bit of DLC anyway, I think the other two bits are story-based, so a lot different. Now you know what it's like. Um, if you do have it already, maybe now you'll check it out if you haven't already.